Hey lovelies! Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Cynthia Elewa. How are you guys doing? Yeah, if you're new here, my name is Cynthia. Okay, this is my channel where I do makeup videos, hairstyles, talk shows, and also vlogs, family vlogs. So on today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I created this beautiful festive looking look <laughs> with this be perfect cosmetics um eyeshadow this is their new eyeshadow and this is the carnival tree love tahiti eyeshadow palette okay so yeah i created this beautiful look with it if this is something you're interested in seeing then make sure you keep watching and watch till the end okay guys welcome back guys so i started off by using my benefit professional primer and i'm just applying that just to give my foundation a very good base okay so today i wanted to do my face you know before uh, my eyes before the face usually i do the face before the eyes but because of the type of look i'm going for i needed to do my eyes first before the face okay just to avoid you know fallouts and all that so i went in with my anastasia beverly hill brow pomade and this is in the shade dark brown so i'm using that i'm just brushing up my brows and i'm using that to you know cover my brows and i'm gonna fill it up later as you soon see in the video So after filling in my brows using my um, brow pomade, I now went ahead to clean up my brows using the P. Louise base and this is the room of four, okay. So I'm just trying to clean up the brows to make it more neat and more flawless. Now I went ahead to blend out the eyeshadow base using a soft concealer brush. So guys for my eyeshadow today i'm using this um be perfect cosmetics eyeshadow that i got okay this is the carnival tree love tahiti palette so i just got it and i decided to try it out today this looks very very pretty so i'm gonna go with the shades of green that you're seeing here let's see what we're gonna create like today i don't have any particular look on my mind to create but i'll just go as the spirit leads so i'm gonna take this um tropics uh forest this dark green right here so i'm just gonna put it on top of this base not bad feels soft and easy to blend tomorrow it is christmas 
so i went ahead to use these other two shades of green to blend out this very dark shade of green that i applied now this is the last shade of green that i'm using and it's a very light green so i'm using that to blend out the, the other green shade which is uh, tropical or something like that <laughs> so i continued blending and you know making the look very soft as you can see then i went back in and i took that uh, nude shade and i used it to clean up my brow bone so guys now i'm gonna be using the tahiti green which is this i'm gonna be putting it on my lid just right on my lid as you're seeing on this one so i'm just gonna pack that and place it on top of my lid see how beautiful that shade is very very lovely blending smoothly now after applying my lid shade i went ahead to use my wet wipe to wipe off you know um the parts where i'm gonna apply my eyeliner so as you can see on the other eye i have already done that one so i'm just cleaning the part for my eyeliner and i'm using a wet wipe to do this and also clean off um, fallouts just I went ahead to apply uh, a white eyeshadow right there on that part where I was going to draw my eyeliner and then I went ahead to use my Sephora white eyeliner to draw my eyeliner <laughs> now eyeliner is just coming out of my mouth you know anyway I'm just filling it up right here you know covering every pictures or any shade of green now i went ahead to do the candy cane um design or art as you can see so this is christmas period and we're just trying to be creative you know in a christmas way <laughs> okay so that thing you see right there i'm gonna correct it now using my white eyeliner this is what happens behind the scene you know kind of like the part that you guys don't get to see <laughs> all right corrected Moving on, I went ahead to use my glue and my gems to just uh, stick on the gems right on my eyes, just as you're seeing on the other eye. So I went ahead to define my real lashes using the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara and I'm just applying that on my real lashes. Now I just applied my lash glue and I'm just sticking on my lash right on my real lash. I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you 
baby this so my lashes are on and now it's time to do my face okay so i'm just using my wet wipe to clean off all the fallout from the eyeshadow and i've been on to hold you close so guys first i'm gonna use this orange corrector from la girl pro cosmetics i'm just gonna use it to correct my face go ahead and blend that up. So guys, for my foundation, I'm using the Blanc Content I do. So I'm just gonna apply that. So usually I use my brush to apply my foundation, but today I decided to use my beauty blender and it was okay. It was really good. Now for my concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, okay? So I'm just applying that on the places that I needed to apply it under my eyes as you can see the bridge of my nose my chin and my forehead all the good stuff went ahead to apply my contour and I'm using my Huda Beauty Tanto Cream this is in the shade medium and it looks like this so I just applied it on the places that I needed to contour Then I started blending out my concealer using my concealer brush. So I didn't just go all the way in you know, to blend the concealer. I just started from the edges because I wanted the concealer to be a bit tacky before blending it. That way to highlight my you know under eyes you know properly or better. So I went ahead to blend out the whole concealer at this point. Now after blending out the concealer, I went ahead to blend out the contour using my contour brush. Dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing just you and me. Carolers are singing outside our door, lovely songs we all heard before. As they walk from house to house, to wish us all. So this is something I always like to do, even though it's optional, you know, it's not necessary that you do it. I always like to do it because it makes my, you know, skin work look so beautiful and flawless. I always use my foundation brush to blend out all the concealers and everything. Now I went ahead to use my Huda Beauty, you know, baking powder to set my whole face. And that is a cinnamon bun one. So I had... I have two Huda Beauty powders. Now this is the Kunafa powder, also from Huda Beauty. So this one I always use to set my under eyes or big. So yeah, because it has a, a yellow tone, so it's better to use this one for baking because it highlights the under eye very well. Singing out 
so while i waited for my face to bake i went ahead to do my under eyes using the same green shade that i used on my eyes then i continued with my white eyeliner for my waterline and i also did the same design of the candy cane that i did on my you know eyelid So now it's time to do my lower lashes and I'm also using the same Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara to defy my lower lashes. I go ahead and dust off the excess powder from the baking. Quiet evening snow is falling And from everyone I'll be bronzing with my Juvia's Place the, uh, Chocolate Mini Palette And I'm gonna take this shade right here But no one heeds their call tonight Now for my tear dot or inner corner, I'm using that shade that I'm pointing at and I'm just applying it right there on my tear dot and it just brightened my eyes and gave it more definition as you can see. Now for my blusher, I'm using my Juvia's Place Saharan Volume 1 blusher. And I'm taking that orange shade right there. That orange shade is so beautiful, guys. Very, very beautiful. So I'm just using my blusher brush to apply that. So this is another thing I always do after applying my blusher. I always go back in with my powder brush to, you know, blend the whole thing out just to make it look natural and more beautiful. You know, I don't want it looking like, I don't know, or giving me harsh lines or so harsh, you know. So it's highlighter time and I'm using my Juvia's Place Royalty 2 highlighter and that is what it looks like. It's a very beautiful highlighter you don't need much so i just applied dashes of it and went ahead to blend them out Now I'm using my Rainforest of the Sea setting spray from Tarte Cosmetics to set and lock my makeup. Okay guys, so using a brown colored pencil and this is a lip pencil. I'm going to go ahead and uh, outline my lips. Now I'm using She Means Business. 
she means business so guys she means business is the shade of this liquid red lipstick that i got from be perfect cosmetics as you can see it's a very beautiful shade of red i just loved it it's a matte but very beautiful not so much so guys i'm done and this is what i was able to create how do you like the look we are in the season of um christmas so this is just a festive season look okay so yeah originally or normally i would go with a nude lipstick but I, i'm just feeling happy and i'm in the mood for you know christmas i'm getting in the mood i just love the candy um candy cane eyeliner looks really pretty something artistic and different and i was able to achieve that also on in my uh, waterline as you can see okay so yeah this is it this is the end of this tutorial if you totally enjoy watching please don't forget to give me a thumbs up okay make sure you share and also subscribe if you've not done that okay all right guys thank you so much for watching okay i will see you on my next video have yeah let me just wish you a merry christmas in advance never can know <laughs> all right guys see ya